good morning, evening, and afternoon, everybody. I have figured out the numlock key, and I am now in a match with uh, Red Deck Wins against seemingly an Ogzon or Esper opponent. So let's see what's going on with our draw. That's all right. We'll play our Denizen in here and pass it back. Hope everybody out there is doing well. I certainly am. Glad to be back with you. All right, Obzon with the fleece main lion. <laughs> That's what I was going to say. So a 3-3 three, three is trouble, so we'll offer the trade here. I mean, it's not big trouble, but it's troublesome. in the tank about attacking with this lion. Seems like a pretty clear decision. We are tapped out, but yeah. Could also be making a sandwich. <coughs> okay. Ah, deciding which land to play. Fair enough. We're going to prioritize our, yes, we got the land, so now we can slash the warden, or here, how about this, swift spear, slash the warden, and then we get, uh, it's not the most mana efficient of turns, but we do get some good, uh, well then the swift spear isn't a very good attacker, is she? Huh. Yeah, ups on aggro sucks. And by that, I mean to play against, because it's quite good. Send here. They are not very willing to trade, though, so just by, well, yeah, they will eat your guys all day. Second stoke is an okay draw there. Um, so we can. We have seven mana. So we can go stoke the lion, slash the warden, play an Eidolon, and hold up a stoke to then two for one on like a token with the rhino. Opponent is on three cards. Hmm. Seems all right. And then now our opponent is behind on board and outside of playing more rhinos. Uh, G, I think. <laughs> or, no, F3, yeah. G is how you spawn with the bones weapon. Anyway, outside, <coughs> outside of uh, playing more rhinos, our opponent uh, is not going to be able to, like, say, Bile Blight or Ultimate Price or anything without paying a steep price. The ultimate prize is probably not for life, but that's what they'll pay. Yeah, our opponents at uh, four cards in hand. One was a land, and the rest probably all ding him for four right now, if he doesn't have a rhino. So, things are turning up millhouse right now. We just need to maintain the board advantage. And we have a stoke in hand to do just that. He 
he's tanking. Swing with the Rhino. We don't do anything about it this turn. And he takes four to cast it on Defensa. And now we full swing, bring him to four, and if he casts a spell, he's dead. Seems good. I mean bring him to four, pardon me. We do eight, because it was two, four, six, seven, eight. Hey buddy, cast another on the fence. <laughs> yeah, no, that that's the nightmare scenario. It's entirely possible. But I think he would have slammed it if he drew a siege rhino. <laughs> Or he's incredibly disciplined and will blow us out after combat. Nope. <laughs> All right. Um, Jake. <laughs> God. <laughs> well, we were wrong, so there we go. Imagination, yeah. <laughs> okay, so we're bringing in Rose, we're bringing in our Sieges and our Perforos, and we're going one step slower. We're employing the old common wisdom that mid-range beats aggro. So we will play the control in this matchup. Because Ob's on aggro, once they start slamming Siege Rhinos, hmm, not a lot you can do unless you have some reach, as we saw in that game. And the Siege and the Perforos both uh, give very good reach. And of course we expect our opponent to be bringing in all of his Drown and Sorrows, Bile Blights, um, what else does the opponent bring in against us? Mm, probably just modifies his removal package, if I had to guess. I believe he's going to stay as the beatdown. Although that's the thing with the Obson deck, is that it literally stretches the entire spectrum, so you can have a transformational sideboard plan uh, and kind of get the best of all worlds out of that deck right now. <sighs> that's fine, because red does have a strong matchup against it. Between Roast and Stoke, Siege, and, uh, you know, strong threats, like Heel Cutter, Rabble Master. It's an okay, okay one. Yeah, we'll keep it. So let's get a mountain, Swift Spear, and we'll take game two in no time. Goes Tap Land Pass. 
beginning to look a lot like Christmas. Because now, well, we're ahead on life and we have a turn two idol on with no cards in our hand that punish it. So, <laughs> yeah, well, I wish there was green. <laughs> yeah, that's a good, good deck. I got blown out by Atarka's command, I don't mind saying. It hurt. Yeah, Game of Thrones! There was like a seven second uh, preview on Facebook of Littlefinger squaring off with the Faith Militant. Got, got, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Because I think that that's like, uh. But like, you know, the first dot would be global dot and then capital G O T with like the logo. That would be cool. Yes, that whole bad is all about. Yeah. <laughs> that we are just going to uh, use one of our stokes on the Fenza here. Okay, well, we could math it. Let's math it. Alternative is to stoke him and play another Eidolon, I'd say. Thirty-five hundred. Interesting. Uh, they happen when you, uh, they happen after the second, uh, Makes sense. Um, the the yeah, but, uh, the part of the reason that lactose intolerance didn't develop in, like, uh, Arab and, um, and, uh, African populations is because the fauna that they first domesticated was for, yeah, it was goats, and they were having dairy since, yeah, since forever. Okay, at any rate, yeah, I'm trying to decide where to aim my stoke here. <laughs> um, yeah, but then we also have the option of stoking the dome and playing a second Eidolon and being like, okay, play any card except Siege Rhino. Yeah, okay, we stoke the Onofenza and just get their city. There we go. We don't want that on this is true. And that's basically Obs on Dex thing, yeah. you know, four four for three, three three for two, four five for four with trample and drain three. <laughs> yeah, it's absolute. I mean, it's in pretty much every eternal format, yeah. at least modern and legacy. And speak of the devil, here it is. Yeah, you're at nine, whatever. We have a heal cutter. And a roast. Okay, so do we roast Stoke Eidolon? Yeah. Roast it. Stoke you. Play Eidolon. Say, hope you have another rhino. Actually, I don't no, hope no, any no, such no, no. thing. <laughs> oh no, we've we've ruined it all. Okay, there we go. Okay, we can't actually do that. I don't know what I was thinking. Um, so we'll swing and then I don't want. We can't stoke. That's fine. And again, we have no cards in hand. 
be either one, whereas we're guessing that his hand is absolutely stacked with three drops and two drops and one drops. All of his warden. Yep. All right, game three. I like this plan. We're going to stick with the mid-range deck. Um, he's obviously going to be making adjustments. If anything, I would bring out more dragon fodders and hordling outbursts and maybe a rabble master for arc lightnings. Um, although that is an expensive way to kill a fleece main. No, I think this is good. This is a good situation. We just have to be uber controlling in this, our third matchup on the draw. Or our third game in the match. And that is risky. Yeah, okay, we'll mull with this. Not a lot better, so I guess we're fated to have kind of a shitty opening hand. And by fated, I mean I made the conscious decision to accept that, but whatever. Maybe we would have gotten a five that was like three lands and an outpost siege and a swift spear, but like, that's dreamy. <laughs> and I mean, that's not even optimal, what I just said. <laughs> so, yeah, any five cards against Obzon Aggro are probably not going to be as good as any six in this deck. That's just the sad truth. Also, drawing lands is something we need to get with immediately, because we missed our turn two land drop. Unless he plays out. a good one. He is thinking about the fact that we missed a land drop here. I don't blame him. Decided what to pop his heath for. Let's see, we've got Roast and Wild Slash and Eidolon potentially if we draw our land and these three cards are pretty much dead in our hand, which is no good. My frustration, I strucketh the mic. Is it a girl? There's no girls on the internet. My YouTube analytics tell me so. <laughs> At least there's no girls on my corner of the internet. <laughs> eh, I doubt that. Yeah, very few. <laughs> I know. Like the um, the limited resources reader survey, where they were like 97 or whatever, 98 percent of their respondents were male. Ooh. Wow, we're getting hosed here. Hosed by the mana screw. I don't know, that's an interesting visual, but uh, yeah. Game three not going our way. We'll give it a few more draws. Maybe Wild Slash is Warden of the First Tree if he taps out for that and something else. Doesn't seem like a great game plan. That's the game plan we got. Like if he plays a one drop and a two drop or two two drops, uh, we can kill it. Rakshas a death dealer. That's the other thing. All of Abzan's creatures are so resilient. Like death dealer regenerates and pumps. Fleece mane becomes hexproof and indestructible and has three toughness. 
Okay, we drew a mountain. It's probably too little too late, but never say die, right? Uh, what's the correct play here? Probably to roast the lion. Swing in. This goes just fine so far. Opponent will be at 13. If we draw a mountain next turn, we can have some wiggle room. We can like stoke on a Fenza or dash a heel cutter. So we're not dead dead. We're only mostly dead. It's <laughs> Miracle Max would say. Yes, okay, we got the mountain. <sighs> Our opponent is holding uh, gas, though. He's content to just beat down with Onofenza. <laughs> so knowing that, we're still going to stoke her. And pass it along. Unless he boarded in like Valorous Dancer. <laughs> center soul or something ridiculous. Drumica's command. Wow. Okay. That's a blowout. Basically, he just got three for one. Ah, uh, yeah. Should we have played around Dromica's command? Um, it's possible. Alternatively, we were looking at, uh, like, Wild Slash into the Dome and playing, uh, Eidolon post combat, getting him for two, but he could have Dromica's commanded at uh, any time to like fight Zergo and oh, and also it has that handy uh, sacrifice and enchantment mode, which really hurts our post board plan. Yeah, Abzan has a lot of game versus us, and as such, I'm not really embarrassed to lose to it. Uh, um, as far as mistakes uh, maybe not mulling to five was incorrect I'm not sure uh, maybe going back to an a no because we were on the uh, on the draw here in game three so yeah just kind of a uh, confluence of circumstance if you will but I think he's got us so we're gonna say goodbye for this one we'll see you next video I'm Max with Moximus Games if you enjoyed uh, watching me get thoroughly trounced by Obs on Agra, you can see much, much more of that by subscribing to my channel. So I hope you do so. All right. We'll see you next time.